What's going on, everybody? So I need all my black and white folks to listen up. We need to stop all this fight. I don't know why people keep bringing up slavery, but since y'all want to bring it up, I got something to say. And I don't think a lot of people are going to like what I have to say. But before I jump into that, because when I jump into this topic, I might piss a lot of people off. Okay, so you don't have to listen if you don't want to. But I'm proud to announce that this episode is sponsored by Noble Gold. Now, Noble Gold can help you bag your money with real silver and gold. Anybody can do that. Black people, white people, because guess what? We are all equal in this country. Noble Gold can help you protect your money, okay, with real silver and gold. So if you are interested, and I advise people to do it because this country is going a little crazy right now, call the Noble Gold team at 877-646-5347 or click the link in this video description. Now let's jump into this slavery talk, okay? Nobody living today owned a slave. And nobody living today is a slave. So I don't know what all this talk about is we were slaves because Terrence K. Williams <laughs> has never been a slave. <laughs> so what you mean we were slaves? Uh, first of all, I am in my 20s. I am not 400 years old. I was never a slave and I never will be a slave. OK, so people need to stop all of this foolishness. I don't know why we keep bringing up slavery. That was long time ago. OK. If you was born, I said this before, if you was born in the 90s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, you were, you were not a slave. Slavery has been over for a long time and nobody living today owned a slave. And let me clear this up too. Every white person's ancestor did not own a slave. Not every white person owned a slave back then. So I don't know why y'all want white people to apologize for slavery when they never owned a slave. OK, so let's go ahead and stop all that. But don't say we were slaves. Leave my name out of it. OK, <laughs> because Terrence is not a slave. First of all, Terrence has never picked cotton. And to be honest with you, I got on a cotton shirt and it's itching right now. I barely like cotton as it is. So I was never a slave. And white people, okay, listen here. Stop apologizing for slavery. You were not a slave owner, okay? And some of y'all don't even know if your ancestors owned slaves. So don't be apologizing for slavery. Don't apologize for something you didn't do. Simple as that. And people want to say, well, Terrence, uh, 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 well, it's because white people need to apologize for their privilege. First of all, all white people don't have privilege. I know, excuse my language, okay? I'm about to say, listen, excuse my language, okay? Uh, I know some broke-ass white people that are not privileged, okay? That can, and then y'all say they are slave owners. I know some white people that can't even pay off their car. So how they own a slave? And how's that privilege? That's what I want to know. Black and white people have the same struggles, okay? There are black people struggling. There are white people struggling. So, and black people have the same opportunity as white people. Yes, they do. And if they don't, how in the world did we have a black president? Explain that. Explain how we had... If America is so racist and if white privilege is just the biggest problem in America, how in the world did we have a black president? Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. Shut up. Black people are very successful in this country. OK. And white people, the majority of the white people in this country want to see black people succeed. Seriously. White people love helping people, black people, you know, so don't act like every single white person is against black people because that's not the case at all. That's not the case at all. And I know that from experience, OK, because I was once working at a hospital when I was in high school and a white lady was asking me how was I getting to school and I told her my car was messed up 
And guess what she did? I didn't ask her to buy me no car. She bought me a car. Now, how in the world, now how in the hell did she oppress me by buying me a car? Exactly. A lot of people that's claiming they are oppressed don't want to work, to be honest with you. Get up off your butt and get a job. Seriously. And then how you claim you oppressed, but you want to turn down a job at Mickey D's because you don't want to flip burgers. Come on now. How's that oppressed? You just don't want no job. Because if you really wanted to work, you would do anything to work. So don't act like you can't get a job in this country. OK, now, right now, the COVID-19 stuff is going on. But before that, come on now, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's not act the press because I know white people that have black bosses. So how is that? I'm trying to figure out what y'all talking about. OK, I'm trying to figure that out. I know white people that work for black people. Look at Oprah. Look at all these rich uh, uh, NBA players. Look at all these rich uh, 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 black actors and actresses and doctors and lawyers, black people are making a whole lot of money in this country. Come on now. Now, people need to stop acting like every white person is rich because every white person is not rich at all. Please believe me. It's a lot of white folks out there that, that still owe some money on some loans. Okay? So, let's not act like everybody is doing better because we all have this. A lot of us are struggling the same, no matter what color we are. Okay. Yes. We got people that are doing better than other people. Hell I'm Oprah Winfrey is black and she got more money than half of the white people in this country. And you mean to tell me Oprah is oppressed. Oprah's not a slave. I'm not a slave. So quit talking about we were slaves. People that's working right now at Walmart talking about they slaves. I never heard of a slave getting a paycheck. Okay. I never heard of a slave getting paid twice a week. I never heard of a slave driving a car. I never heard of a slave calling in to work. People talking about they slaves. We were slaves. We slaves. How you a slave and you calling in to work? I never heard of a slave calling in. You can't call in to work as a slave. Come on now. I'm just sick of this bull crap, y'all. Let's cut out this racial uh, 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 divide. We, we can't, we can't, listen, y'all, we can't start a race war, okay? We all need to unite, okay? We are all equal in God's eyes at the end of the day. Nobody is better than the other person. Nobody is better than anybody else, okay? In God's eyes, we are all equal. Why are we taking this country backwards? Why are we doing that? Let's keep going forward. Don't let these politicians take us backwards, y'all. Martin Luther King and, 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 and a lot of other people fought hard so we can be equal in this country. And we are now. So let's not go backwards. Let's not go backwards, please. But God bless everybody and thank y'all for tuning in.